this is Stampy, and welcome to a Minecraft Let's Play video, and another video inside of Stampy's uh, lovely world. Today I am going to be joined by a whole bunch of different people. I am firstly going to be joined by Lieber. Of course I'm going to be joined by Lieber, as I always am. But I'm not only going to be joined by Lieber, I am also going to be joined by Longbow. Good morning, Longbow. And finally, I am also going to be joined by Squishy. And I heard you drop down behind me on the balcony. <laughs> Unlike most ducks, Squishy isn't the um isn't the best of a uh, of flyers, are you, Squishy? More more of a fooler rather than a fire. That's right, isn't it? Ah, <laughs> uh, anyway, it is morning, which means it is going to be time for my breakfast. So today for breakfast, I am of course going to have a cake because I have. Have a cake for breakfast every single morning. <gasps> nom, 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 nom. Um, ah, lovely. You'd think I'd be getting bored of cake, but nope, far from it. Every cake I eat just makes me love cake even more than I did before. <laughs> right, we don't want to waste too much time here, though, uh, because we are going to be going to the uh, the Funland today uh, to, to, to start playing my brand new game. Uh, but of course, I cannot forget about going to my love garden to uh, add someone to it. And, oh, looks like... Looks like someone's left some pumpkin pie on the floor. I might be tempted to eat the pie, uh, but I have just had a, a whole big cake. So maybe I'll, I'll save that in my pocket and we can have it a little bit later on. Anyway, to the love garden today, I am adding Eliza's knee. And that is because uh, they sent me this picture of some stampy cat shoes that they got for their for their birthday. And uh, they're completely unique, handmade uh, stampy cat shoes. And I think they look really, really cool. If I had a pair, I would uh, definitely wear them. So I wanted to say uh, thank you very much for uh, sending me the picture picture and welcome to my love garden it's nice to see everyone dancing behind me as i'm adding someone to my love garden for a change well tell you what seeing as me and lee normally have a race to the uh, the dog house uh, but there's four of us today how about we have a four-way race to the dog house so we're all gonna run there first one to get inside the dog house is gonna pick which dog we choose but not yet uh, we can all start this can be the the starting line uh, from the bottom of the stairs and you need to start off by running through the heart and then the first one to get into the doghouse is the winner. And you can run whichever route you want. Right, let's begin. In three, two, one, go, 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 go. Right, straight through the heart. Yep, there we go. Not too bad. I'm going to go and run down this route because then hopefully I won't have anyone getting in my way. I can hear people opening and closing doors as I run straight into a post. <laughs> right, let's see who's going to get there first. Oh, no, I ran into a fence as a well and then ran into a door. Oh, no, I think I just saw Longbow going in. But was he the first to get in? Oh, it looks like Lee was already in right you got to be honest now whoever was the winner run up and stand in front of my face and we can see who was the uh, the winner of the race of the doghouse it was Lieber of course it's Lieber the the trained veteran at running to the the doghouse he is very speedy right then Lee uh, that means you are going to get to choose uh, which dog is going to be joining us in today's episode so uh, pick who you want to have with us we're going to have Duncan which means we're going to have the Duncan and Mittens combo right uh, where is Duncan then Duncan Duncan boy, where, where are you? Where? Why aren't the dogs looking at me? Here you are, Duncan. You can come and uh, join us. So uh, Duncan and Mittens can be the spectators as we play the Investigator game. And this is a game, I'm actually really proud of this game. I think it looks really cool. And uh, you saw it in the, the last two episodes, if you saw them. Hello, Mittens. And uh, yeah, you saw the, the big alligator. Uh, I have now finished the, the back of the alligator, and I've decorated the, the area to make it look more swampy. <laughs> I basically decorated it uh, so it looks more like a, uh, a proper swamp. And, uh, and I've done all of the, the redstone now, so it now works properly. And I think it's going to be pretty good fun. But we have not played it once. We have not even tested it. Uh, to see how well it works so uh, hopefully it's going to go well in the uh, uh, in the episode and we're going to have a, a good fun tournament uh, but it's kind of more exciting this way it's kind of more fun when we have no idea uh, how the uh, the game is going to be so you're all going to experience the first ever world's first ever game of investigator in my lovely world ever so uh, first thing we need to do is get there and it's uh, uh, getting a, a longer and longer trek running to these mini games as my uh, fun land gets bigger and bigger and bigger um yeah it's getting a lot uh, harder to to get to them maybe i need to extend the tree train or come up with some other way to get around the the place quick and it is kind of nice just running through and just seeing all of the the other games uh, that i've built in the the past before but if we just run straight through here uh, we're going to go and get straight to the the investigator game and uh, if i climb up here uh, we might get a, a good view uh, from high up at what the the alligator looks like <laughs> it's so ridiculous and uh, you can also see 
Uh, I've uh, put bone mill like everywhere uh, just to, to make it so we got all this tall grass to make it look more swampy. I've also added in a, a few trees as well. And if we go around to the the back here, uh, you can see uh, that the uh, there is a back to the uh, the investigator now and a, a back to the the alligator. So it's kind of as if its head is just poking out uh, from the uh, the water. And that is just to cover up all of the the redstone that's on the the inside. And so you can also see now uh, that if I go over to these levers and I pull them, it's going to to switch around. The the teeth so say if i pull this one here i think it should be the front bottom tooth will go down Ta -da! then if i do this one here it'll be the one to the right of it and then if i do this one here if you excuse me one second duncan it will do the the one to the the left of it Ta -da! you see so this is basically all of the the bottom row you can see i can switch them up and down and then this is all of the the top row so if i do this one here it'll be the one at the back left at the the top so it's kind of just uh, in the the same order uh, that the the teeth are so this is how uh, all of the uh, the teeth get switched around so i am going to very quickly uh, show you how the the redstone works uh, just in case you did want to try and build this uh, this game yourself so uh, it's basically just big trails of redstone uh, from uh, the, the pistons uh, to the, the levers. So you can see I kind of had to stagger the redstone a bit. Uh, that's to make it so it didn't all mix together. And oh, I fell down a little pit here. Uh, yeah, that's to make so it didn't all uh, make it so it didn't all mix together. Uh, so when you pull lever, like uh, one lever, all of the the teeth don't go up and down. And I also dug these trenches uh, just so that the the redstone uh, wouldn't mix. I could have also used repeaters, uh, but that would mean uh, using a whole load more redstone and uh, and uh, normal stone as well. So I decided just to dig these little pits was uh, pretty easy to do. And then on this side. Uh, you can uh, kind of see uh, how it all links up. So there's just trails of um, uh, torches uh, leading up here. And uh, this goes to the, the redstone that we built in the, the last episode, which is here uh, inside uh, the, the top. So this is the, the top row of teeth. And then if I go down here and go around the, the other side, uh, you can see the, the bottom row of teeth. And I'll show you that quickly, uh, just in case you did want to kind of copy it and uh, build it for yourself. So it looks probably a little bit more complicated than it is. But basically all it is to do is to make it so when you pull a lever, uh, the tooth is going to go up or down and so yeah that's how the uh, the game looks and how it works so now we can just go and do the the fun bit and actually play the game <laughs> so the way it works uh, i didn't really have time to do it in the last episode is we have these item frames here so whenever you switch uh, a tooth uh, you mark in the item frame by putting down a colored piece of wool and then when the other person goes up to guess, they're just going to place wool at uh, at the, the point where they think the lever was switched uh, to try and mark which tooth has moved. Does that make sense? Uh, kind of makes sense, doesn't it? <laughs> Hopefully it will make more sense in the, the video. And what's, what's going on over here? Looks like you're having a, a party without me. I want to join in. I want to join in with the party. Woo! <laughs> Duncan, you can join in as well. Woo! <laughs> uh, this is fun. Let's forget playing the game. Let's just do this the entire episode. Only joking. Only joking. It's time to begin. Let's go for round number one. Uh, right, should we do... Uh, let's do me against you, Squashy. Let's go and uh, we can have the, the first game. And then the winner out of our game is going to go up against the winner uh, out of Longbow and Lee. So uh, would you like to, to switch the T first? Or would you like to be the investor? Right, looks like Squishy wants to, to switch the teeth. So uh, inside of here, I have some red wool, uh, which you can use uh, to mark uh, which ones uh, have been switched. So you're allowed to switch five of the uh, the teeth, Squishy. So there's the uh, the um, the wool there. And uh, you can start off, if you want, uh, by switching the, the teeth around randomly. So just some are up and some are down. And then basically, I need to go into the uh, the little room, and then you can go and switch them around again. It's kind of hard to to see Mittens and Duncan here because <laughs> they're in all of the the tall grass. So Squishy, do you wanna do you wanna mix them ra uh, around randomly? Uh, so for uh, for starters, uh, so basically they're gonna be some up, some down. I go inside the little office, and I can't see. She then switches five of them, and I need to investigate uh, to work out uh, which five have been switched. So let me have a, a little look at how it is now. So the top one uh, in the middle is up. Uh, the one to the left of it is down. Uh, the one to the up and right of it is down. And then those three on the right are down as well. Okay, I think I've got a pretty good idea. So now I'm going to go and run inside of the, the investigator office. Uh, so Squishy, you need to switch five levers. And remember... Uh, to mark in the the item frame uh, with the uh, the piece of red wool uh, which ones uh, you have uh, have switched around and then once you've uh, finished switching all five of them uh, then i can go outside and i need to try and work out uh, which ones have been switched so i need to go and uh, grab five pieces of red wool uh, which i'm going to use uh, to to mark 
and then we're going to switch around. Uh, so I'm going to be doing what Squashy's doing now, and we're basically going to see uh, who's the uh, the better investigator and uh, worked out uh, which teeth have been switched. So I guess all I need to do now is wait, and I can go and sit down on this uh, little chair. There are windows, but they are very high up. I don't think I could actually jump up and see anything. No, but I can just about see an eye. So <laughs> no cheating allowed when you're inside of the uh, the investigator office. It's kind of a case of waiting. And oh, it looks like the the waiting is over. Squashy has come to to get me, and now I need to do my investigating so ooh, that bottom middle one that one was i remember trying to remember it but i can't remember if i was saying it's up or down i think it was up before wasn't it let me go and uh, say that it's down now so it should be i think this one i think has been switched um and then i think the one down and to the left i think that one was uh down before so i'm gonna say that one i know that one was like that and aha the, those two on the right there, I think that they uh, used to be down. So I'm going to guess uh, that it's this one and this one. And then I have one more to guess. And I think that one up there to the right, I think that one used to be down as well. And so which one's that one? So that's top row. Uh, so it means it's going to be one of these levers. And I think it's going to be this one here. Right. These are my, my five predictions. So now if I go around to the other side, I can see how many I actually got right. So ooh, that's one, two, three, four, five. I did it absolutely perfectly. What are the chances of that? <laughs> I'm kind of proud of myself. So there we go. I got five out of five, which means uh, Squashy needs to have a perfect round uh, to, to just draw with me. So uh, it's a lot of pressure on Squashy now. And Mittens, you can go and uh, sit down here uh, next to Duncan. Sit down, Mittens. There we go. <laughs> right, so now I need to go and uh, gather up all of this wool and uh, reset the uh, the item frames. And uh, then we're going to do the, the same, uh, but in reverse. I am rather proud of myself there. I'm not uh, normally very good at these uh, these memory games, so I'm quite proud uh, that I was able to, to get it perfectly. I think just getting two or three would be something to be happy about. And the fact I got all of them uh, is, uh, is very good. So let's go and uh, put down all of these item frames again, uh, so I can use them uh, in a minute and uh, is there one more item frame am i am i missing one uh i think down the end here uh, no they all seem to be in place i just somehow uh, managed to get a spare one. Oh no there's this one here i need to put down right then so i'm gonna for starters uh, go and just switch around a, a whole load of uh, these randomly uh, just to make it so some are up and uh, some are down and uh, yeah so uh, squashy can have a little bit of time uh, just to, to have a look at this and uh, try and remember which ones are up and which ones uh, are down so i give her uh, about the uh, the same amount of time uh, that i had uh, just to, to look at them and i'll leave there I'm going to put you in charge of guarding the game, okay? Seeing as you're, uh, you're up there on top of the, the alligator, uh, you can look around and uh, make sure no googlies try and uh, invade us because we are going to keep on playing through the, the night. Uh, right then, Squashy, uh, you've now had a, a chance to, to look at all of the, the teeth and uh, see which ones are up and which ones are down. Uh, you now need to go and head inside of the, uh, the investigator office and I'm going to go and uh, switch them around a little bit. So I want to try and be as sneaky as I can here and try and do ones uh, that she wouldn't realize. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to do this one and this one here like this. And then I just need to mark them down here. Uh, I'm then going to go and do, hmm, I might go and do this one and this one here. And then I'm allowed to, to do one more as well. Let's go and do this one uh, down here, I think, as well. So there's the uh, my five guesses uh, that, that I've done. That is fine. Let me just double check. I did do five. One, two, three, four, five. Yeah, absolutely perfect. So, uh, Squashy, you now need five pieces of, uh, of red wool. Uh, there's four for you here. So as long as you've got one, uh, then you, that should be okay. And uh, yeah, now you need to come down. Uh, you're not allowed to look at the, the item frames. You just need to place down the blocks and uh, mark which ones you think have been uh, have been switched around. Uh, I, I didn't realize that I made <laughs> like the entire top row of teeth uh, switched um, uh, switched up like that. I don't know whether that's making it easier or, or harder for Squishy to, to guess. I guess it might make it harder because she she might know that they're all up now, but she won't know which ones used to to be down. And she seems to uh, she seems to be struggling a little bit. She's trying to to work out uh, exactly which ones are, are which. So uh, yeah, it's kind of difficult uh, to work out which lever does which tooth as well, uh, which is part of the challenge. And then of course uh, remembering which one uh, has been switched round. But I'm going to have to hurry you now, Squishy. I'm going to have to hurry you. You need to go and make your guesses. Okay, she's guessed one down there and one there as well. And remember, she needs to get it perfectly. She needs to get five out of five uh, in order uh, to have a, a chance of a, at least a drawing with me. There's no way she can win, uh, but if we do have a tiebreaker, and then we will do a, a flip of a coin or, or something to, to guess. So there we go. One, two, three, four, five. These are her five guesses. Uh, let's see how well she did. So she got one, two, 
Uh, she got two out of five. It started so promisingly. Uh, she got the, the first two right, uh, but sadly, uh, she got these ones over uh, over here wrong. So I guess I did a, a good job of being uh, tricky and uh, switching around tricky teeth, uh, but sadly, Squishy uh, wasn't able to, to guess the, the right ones, which means I am going to be going into the uh, the final against either Lee or Longbow. So what we're going to do now is have Lee go up against Longbow uh, just to see uh, who it is I'm going to be going up against uh, a little bit later on. So I think that uh, me and Squeeze, you can take over a uh, charge of a googly patrol for now. <laughs> right, so let's go and put down all of these item frames here. And uh, right, who wants to, to be switching the, the teeth first? Whoever wants to do it first uh, can run forward. It looks like neither of them want to do it first. One of you has to. <laughs> You're both going to do it anyway. There we go. Good boy, Lee there. Uh, you can come and do it first. So uh, first things first, you can switch around all of the, the levers randomly, uh, no matter uh, how much you want. And uh, Longbow, you're allowed to, to watch this, and uh, you need to try and remember uh, which teeth are up and which teeth are down. And I'm going to throw you your five pieces of, uh, of wool that you need. Actually, I'll just throw you all of these, but remember you're only allowed to, to switch five. And uh, yeah, uh, Longbow, you need to try and look carefully at which teeth are up and which are down. And remember, the, the row further forward uh, is for the, the bottom teeth, and uh, the row further back is for the, the top row of teeth. So it looks like they're all jumbled up. Uh, Longbow, you have a little bit of time to, to remember how they are, and uh, then you need to run inside of the, the investigator office and uh, stay there uh, while Lee Bear goes and switches uh, around some of the, the teeth and uh, then you need to come out and be the investigator and try and work out uh, which are which so there we go Longbow's having one last look <laughs> you can see the way how he's walking backwards so he can uh, keep checking as he makes his way to the office now you need to stay in there and no peeking no trying to look out that window I saw you Longbow <laughs> only joking I know he wouldn't cheat right then Lee uh, you now need to switch five levers only. And remember, when you switch them, uh, you can go and mark them uh, on the, the item frames as well uh, by putting down a, uh, a red block. So, uh, yeah, it's kind of easier doing it from that way uh, just to make sure you place the, the block in the, the right place. It looks like he switched this one. I don't want to say anything. Uh, that would give uh, any clues uh, away to, to Longbow uh, as which one he's switching. I just pretend I'm just sounding really interested. Oh, how interesting. Oh, I wouldn't thought about switching that one. Oh, how in... Oh, very, very sneaky tactic, Lee Bear. Very sneaky. <laughs> right, that's uh, one, two, three, four, five. Right, that is uh, all five done. Uh, so, Longbow... Uh, you can go and uh, come out now, and uh, Lee Bear, if you go and throw five pieces of, uh, of wool to, to Longbow, uh, Longbow now needs to guess uh, which teeth have been switched around. And careful, Longbow, you're not allowed past this line. You're not allowed to, to see any of the, these item frames. Stay, stay back by where the, the levers are. <laughs> and then, yeah, once you've got the, the red wool, uh, you just place them down here uh, just to mark which ones you think have been, uh, have been switched. We've been very quick. It is actually quite a good idea uh, to, to make your guesses very quick uh, because then you have less time to forget uh, which ones you think have been uh, have been switched around. I'm not going to go and uh, give anything away though uh, as to, to how well I think he's doing. And then again, I have no idea how well he I think he's doing because <laughs> I can't really uh, remember myself. So that's uh, uh, four down. You have one more guess, Longbow. One more guess and uh, we can see uh, how well you did. Right, there we go. There's the, the five guesses. Let's see how many points you got. And oh no! You were so close! You were so close! These were just almost the, the right ones, but sadly not. And oh no! That was none! He wasn't able to get any of them. This doesn't mean, though, Longbow, that you have lost. Do not worry yet, because Lee has uh, his go, and if he doesn't get any either, uh, then you still do have a chance. But things are looking uh, quite promising uh, for, for Lee Bear now. So let's go and uh, put all of these down here. I can go and uh, basically get rid of all of the, the red wool. And uh, Longbow, you can go now and uh, switch them uh, them all around. Uh, and uh, so then uh, they're in a, a random order, uh, ready for, uh, yeah, for, for Lee Bear's go. So let's go and put this item frame down here, get rid of this uh, this grass. Uh, here's uh, some, uh, some red wool for you as well, Longbow. I don't know how much you have. And uh, yeah, so uh, it looks like there's a very good chance uh, Lee is going to go through. But who knows? Who knows yet? This is a, a very uh, unpredictable game. So uh, Longbow switched them around randomly. Uh, you now have a, a little bit of time, Lee, uh, to try and remember which teeth are up and which teeth are down. So uh, yeah, there's no easy way to, to remember. And stop switching them, Longbow. This is this is Lee Bear's chance to, to try and uh, uh, remember uh, which are up and, uh, and which are down. I don't know whether Longbow maybe got confused as to whether he was doing the, the bottom row of teeth or the, the top row because they were almost exactly right but just the, the, the wrong side of the, the teeth, either top or, or bottom row. So maybe uh, that's what, what happened there. Uh, so let's see whether Lee Bear makes the, the same mistake. Uh, so um, 
I think this is probably uh, just uh, about uh, enough time, Lee Bear. You've uh, looked at the, the teeth, should be about fair. Uh, so you now need to go and head inside of the, the investigator office and try and remember as good as you can. He doesn't seem very confident. <laughs> he didn't look very confident as he walked in. Uh, so Longbow, uh, you need to now do the, the same as everyone else has done. Uh, you need to switch around the, the levers and uh, make sure uh, whenever you switch them, uh, you mark the uh, the one uh, that you switched with the, the red wall uh, as well. Make sure you definitely get that right. Otherwise, it's going to be very difficult. <laughs> and just squeeze you. Are you trying to prove to me that you can fly and you tried to fly up onto the, the top of this tree here? <laughs> I'm, I'm sorry for insulting your, your flying skills earlier. You are a very good flyer. I'm sorry. There, see, look at that. Beautiful flight. More of a, as I said, more, more of a plummet than, than a flight. But you still did it very elegantly. And thank you for my <laughs> for my flower as well. All right, then. Let's see how well Longbow's doing down here. He's, uh, oh, okay. I think he's... He's marked them with dirt for some reason, but I guess he didn't have any wall, but it doesn't really make uh, any difference. So one, two, uh, three, four, five. Right, that's them. Uh, them all switched now, Lee Bear. Uh, you can come out of the, the office and uh, you can be the, the investigator and try and work out which uh, are which. So don't go too far forward. Uh, you've got to make sure you can't see anything from the, the item frames. Uh, you do kind of need to, to move uh, back to the, the side, left and right, uh, just so you can see uh, all of the, uh, the teeth. And then, yeah, just place down the uh, the blocks uh, to mark which ones uh, you think are the, the ones that have been uh, have been switched. And he seems to be doing uh, uh, some very intent thinking. Uh, Longbow went very, very quickly. And I think uh, Liebe is trying to do a, a different strategy and uh, is deciding to, to take his time as he's making the, the guesses. And remember, he only needs to get one right uh, in order to, to beat Longbow. But, um, yeah, it's not, it's not definite that he uh, is going to win. Uh, we're going to go and see in just one second, though. So there we go. Here are all five of his guesses. And, oh, oh, no. Oh, did he? Did he? Oh, he did. Lee Bear got one correct. Only one, though. <laughs> that was incredibly close. I almost thought there uh, that uh, that it was going to be a draw. Uh, but it looks like Lee Bear just about was able to, to scrape through uh, into the, the finals, uh, which means he's going to be going up against me uh, to see who the investigator grand champion uh, is going to, to be. So let's now go and uh, reset all of these uh, these item frames. And uh, we can go into the, the grand finals, which is going to be me uh, against Lee. And are we going to decide uh, who? is going to, to be the, the winner then. Right then. Uh, oh, I think, did you pick up my item frame then? Or, oh yeah, do you, do you want to go and place down the, the item frame, Squishy? And then we're ready for the, 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 the final go. So, Lee Bear, do you want to do the, the T first, or do you want to be the, the investigator first? What would you uh, what would you prefer to do? Uh, do you want to do the... Okay, Lee Bear wants to be the investigator first, uh, which means uh, I am going to be the ones uh, switching them all around. So first, I'm going to go and uh, switch them around randomly a little bit. Uh, just so they're uh, in, a, in a different pattern from, from what they were before. I think I'm going to go and do one uh, here as well, just to shake things up a bit. Uh, right then, Lee Bear, you now have a, a few seconds uh, to, to look at the, the teeth and uh, try and remember uh, the, the order that they're in, which ones are up and which ones are down. And then I'm going to send you into the office and you need to do your best job uh, to remember which position they, they are in now. Uh, and then when you uh, come out, uh, you need uh, yeah, to work out which ones have been switched around. So I'm going to give you five more seconds, Lee Bear. Five, four... Three, two, oh, he, does, he doesn't even need it. He doesn't need the extra time. He's looking a lot more confident this time. <laughs> right then, let's go and uh, switch them round, shall we? So I've got uh, five pieces of wool, uh, which I'm uh, allowed uh, to use. And let's try and switch them around a little bit, shall we? Let's go for, um, hmm, I might go and switch uh, this, uh, this one and this one, I, I think. Let's make sure I mark the right ones. It was that one and that one. And then I'm going to go and I'm going to switch. Well, if I switch those two around, I think that that might be quite sneaky. He might not realize that. Uh, so that one should be, I think, this one and then the one over here as well. Yeah, so I need to switch that one and then this one here as well. Uh, I need to go and uh, switch that one so it's like that. And uh, then I have one more, uh, which uh, which I'm able to do. And I might do this one back down here. I might go and switch this one. Uh, and then there we go. Let's see whether he's going to be able to, to guess these. So there we go, Lee Bear. I have done my, uh, my five switches. Uh, you need to now be the investigator and work out which ones I have switched. So, yep, he's got his uh, red wall ready. He just needs to go and place it down and uh, see uh, which ones I have switched. So he's been very quick. Yeah, I guess he, he was confident going into this uh, final. He's placing them down very fast. He's got uh, two more guesses uh, left uh, to go. And do we slow down a little bit? I think he was very confident about those uh, those first two. 
Uh, but now uh, he's not sure uh, which ones out of these have been switched. Okay, looks like he's uh, placed one down there. He's got one last guess to make, and he put it down there. Right, let's see how well Lee Bear did. Oh, no points for these two. Uh, no points for that one either. Uh, but these two... Uh, the first two he placed down uh, were definitely correct, which means uh, that is uh, two points for Felipe. Certainly not a bad score whatsoever. He did seem to be very confident uh, about these uh, these uh, first two that he placed down, uh, but he sadly wasn't as, uh, as sure about the, the other ones. Uh, so now uh, we need to switch around for the, uh, the final round, uh, where I am going to be the investigator, and I need to try and beat two, which sounds easy, uh, but yeah, as we've seen from uh, some of the, the past rounds, it really is not. Uh, so yeah, yeah, I got some uh, red wool on me ready. I only need uh, five pieces. So there's uh, another two pieces for you, Lee Bear, in case you uh, you need them. Uh, so yeah, once again, we're going to start off. You can switch these levers around uh, as much as you want uh, just to, to make a, a random starting position. And uh, yeah, then I'm going to go and uh, see whether I can work out which ones have been switched. So let me go and uh, take out this creeper. Oh, what a shot. Took him out in one. <laughs> right, have you uh, finished switching them around, Lee Bear? Yep, I think he has. So now this is the important part. This is where I need to try and remember which ones have been switched. So there's the two on the top row on the right, and then the two in the bottom row on the, the left. And then that back one there on the right is down as well. And, uh, and I think the one back on the, the back right down there uh, is switched uh, as well. Okay, I think, uh, I think I've got a, a chance of remembering this. I'm going to go into my office now, Lee Bear, and as quick as you can, uh, go and uh, switch around five of them, and uh, then make sure you mark the, uh, the position uh, with the, the red wall. And look at this! It looked like a, a cake has uh, magically appeared inside of here. <laughs> I think that was probably Lee Bear in his last round, uh, just putting cake down around for, uh, for us all to, to be able to, to eat. And this is the boring part. This is the boring part of the game. I guess I should be trying to to picture in my head what the the crocodile's mouth looked and where all of the the teeth were just to try and remember it but to be honest i'm just too distracted with the cake and oh looks like lee bear was very quick anyway right this is what it's all come <laughs> are you gonna let me out lee bear this is what it's all come down to am i going to be able to to remember right i'm pretty sure that that one was down there so that one's bottom row, third in, which should be this one here. I'm pretty sure that one switched. So I think those were both down, down there. And then I think that one uh, as, as well has switched. And so that's the third in on the top row, which is this one here. Uh, right, now I need to work out the, the others. I'm pretty sure uh, that... Oh, I think one of those was down. I think that one might have been down. So that's top row, second in. I think maybe this one, possibly? Uh, so I think those two were down. And then, yeah, that one I've already marked. And then I guess one of these uh, must have been lifted up, which I'm guessing is maybe uh, this one. I think maybe that one switched and that one, maybe? That, that, that's what my, my guess is anyway. Let's go and see uh, how well I did. So, oh, there we go. I managed to, to get two right here. So I'm already drawing with Lee. And yes, I was able to get one of these right down here, which means I got three. So I only just only just <laughs> was able uh, I was able to win <laughs> oh, that's amazing I can't believe I was able to win by just one point this is probably uh, one of the the closest tournaments uh, that we have had uh, so far but do don't feel sadly it, it doesn't matter don't feel sad it, it's only a game tell you what tell you what I'll give you a prize anyway seems as I don't want a prize I'll give you this lovely tasty pumpkin pie which I randomly found on the floor earlier but don't worry I'm sure it's tasty I'm sure it's fine I'm sure it's not dirty or anything <laughs> i don't know who made it but yeah there you go you can eat that and then you can feel all happy again and not worry about the fact uh, that you weren't able to to win the game but uh L L lee bear L lee bear what are you doing have you have you have you fallen asleep? I think he has. <laughs> I think Lee Bear's just randomly fallen asleep. Well, this was a rather tiring game, I suppose. So uh, you can have a well-earned rest there, Lee Bear. But there we go. That is the that is the investigator game finished. I was the, the winner. What a jolly good uh, fun day playing in my fun land with some of my friends. Uh, we have, though, uh, just about run out of time in this episode here. Uh, but in my next episode, I'm going to be beginning building one of the tallest things I have ever built in my lovely world. And I can't wait uh, for you all to see what it is. Uh, but for now, I want to thank you all very much for watching, and I'll see you all later.